Hi guys, welcome back to Sibby Spiritual. It's going to be a general reading for the 13th, Tuesday the 13th of um, April. General reading, so it may or may not resonate. Take what fits, leave the rest, and characters in the story can always be reversed, vice versa. This is the fourth time I've recorded this video, and I can't get the story right. It's not making sense to me. And like, sometimes I feel like my intuition's not working, but I don't feel like that. I just feel like I'm not getting the story correctly. So I'm doing this again. All right, please give me a clear answer here. <laughs> Signs and synchronicities. Okay, all right. All right, what's going on with the collective? Hmm. Let's just, hold on. We're going to shuffle these. Going on with the collective, what do we need to know? It's important. An ex lover is important. Okay. And liquid courage is important. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Hook up. Someone drunkenly has sex with their ex. <sighs> Signs and synchronicities again. All right. It's like I was supposed to be a um <clears throat> a drunk hook up with the ex. That's pretty clear. Like, what does that have to do with anything, though? Why does this happen? What's going on? The snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Who is this ex-lover? Who is this ex-lover here? Home? That doesn't help me. Who is this ex-lover? Love, unconditional love. Self-love. Tell me more. Okay. The Phoenix. New phase. Rekindle. Renew. Transformation. Growth. Change. Mind. Huh. Well, someone could go back to... Something. And then... Because that says say rekindle. It's like... Basically, however it fits, it's some somebody going back and hooking up with someone from the past. The past can mean two hours ago. Um, or ten years ago. But there's why but there's something shady about this because we have the snake and stabbed in the back. What's the shady aspect to this? Healing? And faded meeting. This could be a sneaky meeting. Sexual healing. <laughs> um, a meet up. But why is this shady? Why does this feel? Why is this a snake and stabbed in the back? Hold on. 
between the lines. Why is this snake or stab in the back? I want a card about unconditional love. Because it's like, okay, someone has sex with an ex, sure. Fine. But why does this have to do with a snake or being stabbed in the back? The ring contract. What's this? Why is this? Why is this a stabbed in the back thing? Oh my god, my video cut out. Okay, someone had sex with her ex. The end. <laughs> I don't know. Why is this shady? Is just the past shady with these people? Left in the cold. So does someone hook up with their ex and then they disappear? Is that what we're saying? Five of Cups. Wasn't yesterday's reading called The Hookup? So what happens after this incident? Justice is served. Someone thinks. This causes someone to think. What's the history between these two people? Element of fire. Could be fire signs, but could be just something that was a sexual relationship. What's the history between these two people? House. And the diamond ring. People could have lived together or been married or something. Tell me more about the history. The mask. Um, talking more about the history between these two. Proposal. These people were either married or engaged or something. Okay. So definitely these people had a... Some sort of serious commitment. Whether they were married, engaged, lived together, something. Why, why does it feel like it ends sad? Single. These people don't get back together. Someone might hook up with an ex thinking that they're going to get back together with them. And it doesn't go that way. Tell me more. Unexpected. What's unexpected? What? Breakup. So, okay, so someone hooks up with someone from the past, right? And then someone's blindsided by it because it, it ends up alone, left in the cold. Interesting. But why is that such a blind side? Like, why did this person think that they were going to get together? Mag because they had a magnetic attraction, yeah. 
someone someone had sex with an ex and it was like you know very passionate or whatever and they're like oh my god we're so in love we're gonna get back together or something like that and then it just doesn't go that way at all why does it end so sad was it just sex Stars and the owl. Why does this not bring these people back together? The Empress. Why does this uh, hookup not bring these people back together? The wheel and the moon. Oh my god. Let's break up sex. Why did that take me so long? You know, you're about to break up with someone, right? You have sex. And then you're like, oh my god, we're gonna get back together. No. It was breakup sex. I have never done a reading about breakup sex before. This is fascinating. Breakup sex. This is breakup sex. You're gonna break up with someone, right? You're ready to go, ready to break up with them. You already broke up, whatever. Then someone had some drinks and uh, you have sex. One person thinks it means that they're getting back together. The other person is um, that they did not plan that. Uh, yeah. Wow. Now it makes sense. Wow. Anything else? Oops. Anything else here? The swans. A soulmate, twin flame, the one, a pair of things. So what is a soulmate? Will these people ever get back together? Reconciliation. For long or for another hookup. Hold on. Will these people ever get back together permanently? The ring, that's what flipped before. Let me feel like, it's like that feels like yes. Now this is really confusing me. To like break up sex. But then you then then eventually you do get back together. Alright, I'm lost. <laughs> this might just be a breakup makeup type of thing. Tell me more about the future of these people. New love. Hmm. Tell me more about the future of these two people that had the hookup. Healing heart, freedom from toxic relationship or addiction. Um, I feel like this is something a breakup, makeup, breakup, makeup, right? Today it feels like sex, then breakup, but it's like in two days it could be back. Or maybe this is something that already has been happening, right? Break up, make up, break up, make up. It's like passion, right? Break up, passion, break up. Like, it's just like, what the ultimate thing that's gonna happen here is freedom from toxic relationship or addiction onto new love. Anything else about the future of these two people? The mask. What's this mask? 
the mirror. These people mirror each other. It's a reflection of their own issues, and it's just like it keeps going back and forth, it feels like. Anything else? Heartbroken. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. What if this is the final? What if this was the final? See, I talked a lot about that in my April readings. That the things talking about like the final straw. What this may be here is the fact that you know, these people break up for the hundredth time, right? They have makeup, sex, break up, sex, whatever you want to call it, right? And um, one person thinks they're going to get back together. And the other person's like, no. And you're like, what do you mean? We always get back together. And they're like, nah. And I talked about, I talked about that a lot in my April readings. I forget which signs. There was two different ones that talked about similar things like that. It's like the final straw. It's like someone's someone's so used to the fact that like oh we'll get back together we always get back together but then it's like this final time it doesn't go like that that's what this feels like karmic relationship exactly because this is a karmic relationship and i think it's finally being understood fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you mm-hmm Breakup sex. And someone thinks they're getting back together and someone doesn't. People don't see eye to eye on this, this hookup here. Yeah. The axe. Breakup, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Then we have looking at you, missing you, and nostalgia, making new memories. Someone ends it. Someone literally just wanted to hook up, right? The other person's sad, you know, watching them, whatever. Yeah, breakup sex. There's a lot of hoeing in my last <laughs> few readings. Anyways, I think that's going to be all. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give me a thumbs up on this video. And subscribe to so be notified when I post future videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at It's Simply Sharon. I'll see you guys next time.